So um, I'm going to go do the second um, of the drawing exercises on the parabola from a book of curves by E. H. Lockwood. Um, we've, we've looked at joining equivalent points on a pair of lines uh, and taking the envelope of that, that sequence, that set. Uh, and we've shown that that would be a parabola. The second drawing exercise is use the above method one to draw a parabola to touch four given lines, and two to draw a parabola to touch two given lines at given points. So let's take a look at that. Um, using GX web. So, um, four given lines uh, we'll start with. Let me, sorry, get rid of the axes here so I don't get in the way. Okay, so let's, let's start with four, uh, four lines. One, two, three, four. <laughs> they made them in a kind of a uh, parabolic shape. Um, now, what what it suggests is this: is that we use the we're we're going to be using joining up equivalent points on two um, line segments. And what it's suggesting here is to use these two line segments. And now, before I start, these are going. We we should have made these. We these are given lines. So in order to make them given, I'm going to constrain their. I just sketched them, and they could easily adapt to what I'm doing. Uh, but if I press this button, it looks like coordinates, but for a line, it's going to let us enter its equation. So there's me entering the equation of that line. Um, we'll enter the equation for this line. And I'm just taking the defaults. Um, so we're going to get a bunch of A naughts, A ones, A twos, and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's another one. And here's another one. Uh, so let me grab all these and hide them because they're getting, they kind of get in my way. OK, but we have now constrained the three lines. We have all these coefficients, and if we wanted to, we could, uh, you know, move them around. Okay, so the suggestion is that if we now take um, a point at and have it. Um, be at the same parametric location along um, each of these lines. So in other words, the zeroth, the zeroth one is going to be here. The 0 0.51 is going to be here. And the one, one is going to be here. The 0 0.75 is going to be here. So we, we have uh, the equivalent of joining a whole sequence of these things up, except an infinite sequence with uh, T. So we come in here to create the envelope as a curve. Um, we are using the parameter T and um, did not get it. I didn't have the right thing selected there. See, I had the T selected. So uh, what I got was the locus of T of uh, point E. Uh, what one is the envelope of the of the line? And so there it is, rather uh, uh, a small curve there. Now, what we can um, so so it's not obvious that this curve is uh, going to be uh, tangential to um, all four lines. It looks like we might be seeing the tangency um, to two of them. In fact, that is pretty fairly convincing that it is tangential to two of them. Um, but is it, in fact, tangential to these ones? Well, if you think about it, um, let's let this t run not just from 0 to 1. Um, 
And if you think about it, at some point, T is going to reach the crossing. Uh, uh, we're going to reach the, the crossover point between these two uh, lines, and that will uh, that will then have it lined up um, along uh, along the these one or other of these two lines. Um, so when when E reaches the crossover point, then EF will be uh, lined up along here. When F reaches the crossover point, uh, let's bring that crossover point into view. When F reaches the crossover point, FE will be lined up with this uh, line. So that that that's a sort of pretty persuasive that, that, that it's going to be tangential. In order to see uh, the tangency, we'd like to see more of the curve, which we can do by just letting T um, uh, escape from the zero one confines. Let's make it go from minus two to two. No, not quite enough. Let's go from minus five to five. And um, there we can see uh, the tangency uh, to all four lines, which is what we've been asked to do.